Hello everyone and thanks again for tuning in. This video is to give a quick overview of the different business immigration programs to Canada and how one can get their permanent residency status and citizenship thereafter. I have left links to more detailed explanations on each of the programs that I will be talking about today. You can refer to them at any time of your convenience. So as a business investor, how do you really get your Canadian citizenship status? The key to business immigration is to identify if your business, that is the one that you will be starting or buying, has a strong ability without a doubt to create significant economic impact in Canada. That is, will it create jobs for Canadian citizens or permanent residents? How much taxes will your business pay per year? Will economic spin-offs of your business remain within Canada, etc.? Now, here are the four stages of business immigration. This is a general guideline that applies to any business or investor program you choose to apply to. First is to buy an existing business or start a new business in Canada. Second step is to apply for a work permit to operate and grow your business. You then apply for your permanent residency after one year of running your business. And three years after becoming a PR, you apply for your citizenship. Note that business immigration is also family immigration. What do I mean by that? When the investor applies for a work permit, the spouse gets an open work permit with which he or she can work for any employer in Canada. Kids under 18 get their study permits. They get to study for free in Canada and the whole family is also covered under the provincial healthcare program, which is quite amazing. All of this is even before they get their PR status. Now let's touch upon the top five programs for business immigration. You could choose to pause the video here to read this list yourself. Now let's now quickly look at the first one on the list, which is Provincial Entrepreneurship Program. There are 18 different programs offered by 13 provinces. Each province has a specific requirement for their programs and I'm not going to get into all the nitty gritty details in this video. I'm going to focus mainly on the requirements and processes that are common across all provinces just to give you a broad idea. If you look at this chart, it gives you a snapshot of how much investment amount is needed for each of these provinces. Like I mentioned in one of my earlier videos, these are just the minimum amounts and just meeting these numbers is nearly not sufficient to receive an invitation to apply. Here is a list of a few industries that you can consider while making an investment. Again. You can pause the video here to read this list yourself. Now I want to touch upon the process for applying for the entrepreneurship program. So you will need to create an expression of interest first to the province of choice. Based on your scores, you will be invited to apply. Scores are also dependent on how strong your business plan is. You will then plan to make an exploratory visit to do some research on what business you can purchase or how you can establish your foreign business here in Canada. You then have to sign a performance agreement and then apply for a work permit to come to Canada to establish and grow your business. You then run your business for at least one year and submit a report of your business operation. If satisfactory, you may receive a nomination from the province which with, with which you can apply for PR for yourself and your family members. Now for the self-employed program, most people just talk about the cultural activities and athletes. This program is actually quite powerful for any business owner who has a revenue generating business, but the revenues aren't that high. Not all business types will qualify for this program, so you may want to check if your business qualifies before you apply. Now for the intra-company transfer program, which is quite popular. Under this program, you first set up an affiliate or a subsidiary of your international business in Canada. You then draft a viable business plan, apply for a work permit for a key senior executive or a specialized knowledge worker. One year after running your business in Canada under the ICT work permit, you can then apply for PR. I get a ton of questions on how to apply for PR after being on an ICT work permit for one year. I will make another video just to explain how this process works. You all must have heard of the Startup Visa program. You should have an innovative business to even consider applying to this program. You need to get a letter of support from VCs, angels, or business incubators. And once you do and you get a commitment certificate, you then apply for PR and also a work permit for an early entry into Canada to work on your business. And finally, the owner operator LMIA. This is a direct pathway to permanent residency, just like the Startup Visa program. 
Under this program, you can purchase an existing business. You need to have a minimum of 50.1% shares in the business. You then have to apply for LMIA to prove that no one is available locally to operate your business. If approved, you get 200 extra points with which you can apply for PR through the Express Entry system.